Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about edit interactions in Power BI. This is one of important visualization concept. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level. And also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based, monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. In this video, we will deep dive about edit interactions. First of all, let me explain what is interaction visuals in Power BI and what is edit interactions in Power BI and how to disable all interactions in Power BI or how to remove edit interactions for particular visual. Okay. Let me go to my Power BI desktop. Let me connect to SQL Server. This is my SQL Server name. If anybody watching first time a video, I am strongly recommended. Please check class number 3 and 4. Why? Because in class number 3 and 4, I clearly explain how to download and install Adventure Work. DW 2017 and North Wind database. If you practice these two databases, you will get familiar with the real world data. That's the reason why I am telling you. Real world also like same data, but we have a lot of tables in the real world. That is the difference only. Now, I am taking dim customer, dim date. Dim is nothing but dimension tables. In previous class, I explained dim geography and at least one fact table let me click on load ok don't worry it won't take much time while loading tables automatically it will detect the relationship and also it will filter the data don't worry, when you drag the some data into the Power BI report, then you can see the filter. Okay. Now my tables are loaded. Okay. Now I am taking year by sales. I am taking year column from the dim date, calendar year. Total sales amount, packed internet sales. Okay, I want year column in x axis. Now you can see year wise sales. Now I want to take one more visual country wise sales. Select country column from DIM geography and sales from the fact internet now we have two visuals let me convert to table visual for better understanding okay now let me take one card visual in card i am taking only single value total sales convert to card let me come to let me format this one for better visibility i want to change this as uh, sales amount by calendar instead of uh, sales amount by calendar i want to change year by sales format Title is on select year wise sales. Fine. Select the table visual. I want to change the style of table visual. Bold header with flashy rows. Column headers. I want to increase the font column headers 
better display I want to change as floating is enough for me and also I want to check the values come down change the text Font family is fine for me Now, let me adjust this. Okay. Now, if you observe this table here, depends on the based on the English country region name sales amount is divided. That is nothing but here Australia total sales. This is Australia total sales. This is Canada total sales. France total sales and Germany. So, country wise, here sales amount is divided. Why? Because here dim geography and fact internet sales these two tables having a relationship that's the reason why data is filtered automatically it is not showing total sales amount in every column it is divided by the country wise so go to the relationship view now see here fact internet sales table and dim geography having relationship through the dim customer table that's the reason why it is filtered very very important point please remember it is an interview question okay now we have three visuals in a page this is nothing but this is one page okay if you click here you can get one more page i want one, I want one page is enough for me. now i want to take one slicer I have taken one slicer. In the slicer, I want to put calendar year. Based on the calendar year, I want to filter the data. Now, I want list. Okay. Now, if I select 2014, all visuals are affected that means in every visual data is filtered so this is nothing but interaction okay visual visuals all visuals are in interaction it doesn't matter how many visuals you have in the page okay by default in power bi all are visual mode uh, all are interaction mode only this is nothing but interaction visuals in power bi now how to edit how to enable edit interactions in power bi now see format here edit interactions is there if you click here edit interactions are enabled that means see here here every is well you have two options now filter none filter none filter none now i want to so I don't want if you if I select slicer I don't want to change visuals uh, I don't want to change values in this visual in this particular visual now then you need to just select none select 2013 only these two visuals are interaction mode okay this is nothing but edit interactions now if you want to don't want uh, change value in the code also then you just select none now try 2013 now only this visual is affecting okay values are changing in this visual only now, i want to turn off all okay this is nothing but disable all interactions in power bi now i disabled all in visuals interactions now select 2014 values are not going to changing if you want you can try with uh, this visual uh, in the column or something table will be table visual will be refreshed that's the reason why i'm telling okay so, now see i'm selecting 2013 now 
all visuals are in disabled okay now if you want to filter again what you need to do is you just uh, select filter so now visuals will be affected only in this visual okay 2013 140 see values are changing now now i want to filter this visual also now see here 2013 these two visuals are in interaction mode and select filter 2013 all visuals are in interaction mode now one more point how to remove edit interactions in the power bi okay so if you don't want these uh, options then simply go to format and you just unselect it now the symbols are gone so in this way you can enable and disable edit interactions in power bi desktop very very important concept okay thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training you can contact to this email id or you can directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video once again